hey guys welcome back to another video so the last time we did a video in the terminal like this we covered a bunch of stuff and now we're going to can i not make this full screen where it's like really bugged out there we go but uh we covered i believe move copy uh, and a bunch of other stuff including ls uh the previous video will be in with this video in a playlist and i figured I looked at my playlist and I realized that I never got around to, you know, doing another video, which honestly I'm really disappointed myself with. So we're going to be covering remove files or directories, and we're going to be covering create or update file timestamps. So it, the command's called touch. Uh, we're going to be also doing grep, so search text using patterns, okay? Uh, do I have anything that I can remove? Let me check. Yes, I do. I have a bunch of stuff I can end up removing, so I guess we'll uh, we'll we'll start there. We'll start with splitlog.exe. So it's simple. Uh, split log right there. Actually, let me zoom in. We're not zoomed in, and let me actually just go and clear that. And right there, remove splitlog.exe. I was actually trying to nail down what split log, uh, what's causing it. And uh, if it was still an issue for me, turns out Mesa has a ring zero issue, which is extremely problematic. It's causing games to crash in certain scenarios. But yeah, that's that's a whole other story. So, I mean, this one's pretty simple. You could also uh, do a recursive delete, which is adding dash R. So it recursively deletes directories and their contents. That's a dangerous one right there. Now, you can also force delete without prompting, okay? And you could also do dash I, which will, of course, you know, ask before deleting. So, there you go. And I could type no. All right. Now, you could delete a single line file, which is what that was. Or you can technically do this. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, let me go check again. So to check, you could do ls as a command, and then you got a bunch of stuff here. So I could technically delete 2025 08 05. It's not letting me actually grab these files, which is unfortunate. So actually, I could just copy this, right? We could just paste this in. I could copy this. We could just paste that in. And now we can multi-delete a file just like this. So remove dash I for interactive. And as you can see, we cannot remove no such file or directory. Even though it's right there, it doesn't allow us to delete it. I think it's because uh, maybe does it have that? It shouldn't. I don't know. It's just not letting me delete it. That's fine. We don't need to. I can technically get rid of depths and split log instead and i'm gonna hit no and i'm gonna hit no because i don't actually want to delete any files Control l to start again so multiple files are a thing uh we can also get rid of folders so are there any folders i can get rid of there is so we could do remove dash rf okay and then dash i because i don't actually want to delete it and we do file dash and that just lets us get rid of a directory and again i'm gonna hit no and um, you could also delete everything recursively again. So delete a directory and its contents uh, with dash R like this, right? To send into the directory, eh, no. So that's something you could do. And there's also dash R RF is basically force deleting. Remember that? So there you go. That is the first part done of this video. So that was remove in a nutshell. I think that uh, covers everything. I'm not even going to show you the command you should never ever do because that would be a horrible idea. Because look, I'm not that twisted of a guy. There are certain remove commands that you never run. Okay. And I'll show you it. Uh, never mind. I think it's best if I do. See this? Don't ever run this. This will delete your entire Linux operating system. If you ever see this, this is a lie. Do not touch this. Do not run this whatsoever. 
your whole OS is gone. You understand? Don't freaking do it. There you go. All right. Control L. We're going to start again. So we are going to create or update file timestamps. All right. So in here, these are all the files that currently exist. If I go touch uh, split log 2x i dot text. And then we do ls again. You'll notice there's split log 2x high dot text. This is a great way for making a text file and then editing if you want to do that. But you could always just do netto and then the name and then save and that's it. But yeah, so if you need to, you can update it again. All you would need to do is run it again. And that updates its timestamps. And you can also make multiple files uh, like this. Just like that. And you are short dot text. That probably applies to most of you. And we do LS and you can see you are short split log high and hey YouTube are all there. And uh, that works out really, really well. Now, going over touch, I think is really simplistic and easy. It just allows you to create files and stuff. And I think most of you will probably appreciate that. But now, now we're going to be doing grep. So if you just type in grep, you get this, right? But if you type in grep air, it will search for anything in your system going for air. And as I don't have anything, if we do grep split, oh, that spelled split wrong. Sorry, my bad. It's not actually going to find it. Yeah. Grep is a bit of a weird one for me. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Let's do dash R and let's do split. There you go. Now it's searching the system. It's a bit of gibberish, but it's there. It's searching all your trash, everything. Yeah, it's a very interesting command. We'll go over it more here in just one second. All right, so let's try this. Nope, no such file or directory. What about you? Nope, no such file or directory. Using grep in a very specific way can be a bit annoying and uh, difficult at the same time. But, you know, once you get used to it, <laughs> I would like to have one successful way to just... You know what? Let's do this. Right? Um, hmm. It's like, find this one file. No, it's like sitting right there and we just, we just, we just can't. Stopped, crept, auto, look, color, split log. Huh, see that? That's kind of cool. Uh, let's do air. See what we get. Could not find a pitter directory. Okay, let's try. See, I'm not very good at grept either. So it's not something you have to worry about. But for troubleshooting, you know, you could use it most definitely, uh, but yeah. So dash I, so grip dash I is for case sensitive search. Dash R is for recursively. So it searches through directories. And maybe if we do split log dot text, it found it. See that I did a thing. Great. And then uh, you have dash N to show number lines. Okay, so like this, and then you have this dash dash color to basically show what you want. Uh, and then I'm going to do split log dot text again, and it's going to find it. It's right there. There you go. So I hope this video has helped make you less afraid of linux minus the whole remove command that i showed you not to do don't do it unless you have like a test system and a vm and just want to see what i could do and how destructive it can be have fun but don't do it on your actual system i beg of you okay i, I beg of you so today we learned remove we learned touch and we learned grip 
all right? Uh, let me know if you appreciate this kind of video. You know, leave a comment, help me out with the algorithm, uh, hit the like button, and don't be afraid of the terminal. It's not going to hurt you. It's actually one of the most useful tools you will find in Linux, on Windows, and in Mac OS, and Android and iOS. But in iOS, we don't really get access to it, unfortunately, unless we use a hacked version, which can access the file system, which is actually very easy to do. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.